Daily Prayer Monday, July 26, 2021 Monday of 17th week in Ordinary Time Daily Prayer Monday, July 26, 2021 Monday of 17th week in Ordinary Time The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Jesus offered them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is smaller than all other seeds, but once it is fully grown, it is bigger than any garden plant, like a tree. The birds come and rest in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like the yeast that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour until the whole mass of dove began to rise. Jesus taught all these things to the crowds by means of parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. This fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet. I will speak in parables. I will proclaim things kept secret since the beginning of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. May you be drawn ever deeper in your relationship with the Lord Jesus and His Abba Father, not through creating your own image of who you think God is, but by being open to the God who desires you to know and be in relationship with all three persons of three in God. One of the attributes which sets aside human beings from other animals is that they are able to use signs and symbols, images and figurative language to describe reality. One of the problems with using such representations for reality is that we become so attached to the symbolism that we believe the symbolism is the reality and we miss the actuality that we are trying to express. This is particularly true with our relationship with God. We want to be able to grasp who God is, so we come up with all sorts of imageries to express who we think God is. We fall in love with our concept of God and fail to really know God through our being in relationship with God. We try to make God into our image rather than trying to relate and be formed into God's image. The only way to truly know God is by spending time in prayer and by sitting at the feet of our master teacher through reflection and reading God's word. This will lead to our basking in the relationship who is God. God continues to reveal the divine essence, who God is, to people. But some are not open to that revelation. Others act contradictory to that revelation. In the first reading, while Moses is on the mountain of the Lord, experiencing the revelation of God, the Israelites form a garden calf to represent God. The psalm retells the events dealing with golden calf. In the Gospel, Jesus shares two more parables with the crowd. Yet, some do not understand the meaning and the truth contained within the parables. And therefore, they miss what God is revealing to them. 
Today's parables of the mustard seed and the leaven in the bread, the duff, speak about the phenomenon that will take place in the growth of the reign of God. What Jesus begins with the handful of followers who spread throughout the world. Jesus uses parables to reveal God's mysterious plan of salvation. My reflection on the readings moves me to realize how much God wants to be known by people and to what extent Jesus will go to reveal the love of God for people. God desires people to be in relationship with the Godhead. Yet, like the Israelites of old, how easy it is for individuals and groups to miss the point of God's self-revelation. I know there have been times in my own life when I have misunderstood God's plan for my life and what God wanted me to do and to know. I have tried to convince God that my ideas are what should be happening. It is so easy for us to make our own image of God. Maybe not a golden image, but our mental image of God. God does not want to be memorialized by some picture or symbol, although they can be helpful. God wants to be involved in the personal life of individuals. Yes, Jesus spoke in parables which were symbolic images of the truth, but the parables were meant to lead us to the truth, Jesus himself, and to his Abba Father. As we continue our journey through life, let us seek to remember that it is Jesus who saves us and let us give thanks to God who is Abba, Son, and Spirit. And may they never say about us what is said of the Israelites of own in today's psalm. They forgot the God who saved them. The personal question or action for today, what is my image of God? Do I seek to make God into what I want God to be? Or am I open to truly come to know God through the various ways God reveals to me? Am I spending enough time learning from the master teacher through my time of pray and reading of God's word? Am I willing to share my thoughts with others and be open to what others share with me? Do I positively encourage others to spend time with the Word of God and seek to develop a deeper relationship with God? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all salvation. Through your goodness, we have been given the opportunity to develop a relationship with you, yet in our excitement, fear, or misunderstanding, we have developed false images of who you are. For missing the mark and letting ourselves not deepen our relationship with you, we seek your pardon and forgiveness. Jesus, your son, came as the master teacher who first spoke the truth in parables and later revealed himself as the truth, all with the purpose of drawing us ever closer to you. Continue to enlighten us with your Holy Spirit so that we may grow in appreciation and love of who you are and have a personal relationship with you. We make this pray in the name of your Son, Jesus, the Master Teacher, who is living and reigning in your reign together with the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Hãy subscribe
Sinner.